Physics Challenge Question 3 The Collision of Rigid Bodies in Weightless Space Suppose we have a, a stick um, weight less, uh, weight zero, but the mass on the both end M and M uh, stick is floating in the air and mass M come and it's hit one side with speed V. So how do we calculate how fast this stick moves and also how fast it's going to uh, spin. Okay, so let's do uh, conservation of uh, momentum impact to the center of gravity mv is the momentum and this component cosine 30 degree is this direction is going to be 2mu the we have 2m moving at the speed u and also there is a this mass m the speed change to v prime and component cost component that's gonna be this new speed with sticks momentum together should be the original total momentum so this is the conservation of momentum in the direction of uh, cosine 30 now sine 30 we have this component the original speed and and the new speed okay this the momentum lost is going to be i omega which is a angular uh, speed times um, moment of inertia uh, in this case 2ml square Okay. so this is angular momentum so angular momentum plus the new momentum total should be same as original momentum now we have u and omega and new speed v dot three unknown parameters so we need one more equation this is a cons conservation of energy the original energy was one half of mv square now the new speed mv prime square plus 2m u square plus i omega square of course we have a coefficient here in front so this gives a third equation so we have one two three uh, parameters unknown and three equations so we can solve it so first step is to calculate u and omega and plug into this energy conservation equation and simplify so what happened is this is going to be equation quadratic equation to solve the v prime once B prime is available, it's going to be your homework. These are details we don't go through here in the video. The B prime is here, then we can get omega. So we know how quick it's going to uh, spin. And also, B prime is going to give us U, the speed moving this direction. Okay. The stick is going to move this direction while it's spinning. Okay, so find V prime U omega. And the V prime is just solution of this quadratic equation. So you go back, plug in V prime, then you get the U omega. Okay, so that's a, that's a way how we find out the speed and rotation uh, spinning speed okay now here's a note when you say the ball hit another ball okay 
so if it's aligned then the V becomes V prime and this maybe uh, U becomes U prime that's a way it's preserved in momentum but what if it's not aligned for example if you come here this hit here this ball so it's not aligned what's happened is this go this direction and this go this direction so we have ux uy and we have v prime x and v prime y so we have four different parameters and conservation of momentum for x direction gives one equation y direction gives another equation and energy conservation give another we have only three equations now how can you solve this kind of problem if you uh, solve many uh, problem in the physics about conservation of momentum you encounter this kind of problem here the missing part is uh, this angle this angle has to be given otherwise you cannot solve uh, three parameters uh, three equations for four parameter one two three four okay so when we collide we assume it's aligned if not aligned then suddenly parameters increase then you need more detailed information about the angle how it's collided okay i hope you enjoy this video and please check other videos uh, if you like the click subscription